Dark Souls 3. You can see that I cleared away my souls. And I came back and before I started recording I just killed all these little you know, little minion type enemies because I'm going to do something really stupid. And I don't want them to interfere. So first thing I'm going to do is heal myself, which I should have done before I started this. Because I don't want to waste your time, but I didn't think of it. I didn't even look at my health, to be honest. Now this stuff, I did walk through here a bit. It makes me fat roll. I don't like that, but... Alright. Suicide, here we go. Not even do that great of damage. Nope, nope, nope. Huh. These guys seem to have lost all ability to kill me since I came down here. Holy crap. That's awesome. This is just pitiful, man. And here I was getting all worked up over nothing. I would never recommend fighting a big enemy locked on. I'm just locking on in order to check his remaining health, and that's really the only reason. Alright, I almost got him. One more hit should do it. Ha! Looks like he dropped something. Large tight knight. And a dunk pie, but I don't care about dunk pies. Maiden set. I actually really liked that set in the first Dark Souls. Soul of a nameless soldier. These are big doors. I'm surprised I can open them. <laughs> they keep the hinges well oiled here. <laughs> he gave me 4,000 souls. Which I guess is kind of generous considering how much of a pussy actually turned out to be. Whoa, what is, what's going on with my screen? I don't know if you guys saw that, but I had some weird lines going across it. Saint Biden and two homered bones because you know I love my homered bones it saved me so much running although I haven't actually been using them all that much probably because I'm trying to save them I don't know if there's gonna be an infinite homered bone item like there was in Dark Souls 2 but let's take a look at this Biden it is a spear low damage though low scaling and it's got faith scaling, but it's not very good faith scaling. St. Klimt. Alright, it's just got a charge. It doesn't look like it's very special. It's got really bad scaling in everything. I can't imagine why you would use this. Man, this place looks really cool. It's also way too big to be a freaking cathedral. <sighs> it won't even let me try to run in this. Only walking and fat rolling. I can move. It's a miracle. Man, that stuff makes my cape look really freaking cool. Oh, 
Maybe it was just the lighting. My cape looked silver. It was pretty damn cool. There were some slime type enemies in here, like the ones we ran into before, but I went ahead and I killed them. That's why I have this torch here that are weak to fire. So I guess it's your turn to die. But he didn't move around this much. Oh! Holy crap, that hurt. significantly better than his friend. He's gotta be close. Yeah, one or two more hits. Gotcha. Drang shoes. Another large and a dunk eye. Drang gauntlets. Drang armor. Large soul of an unknown traveler. Pale tongue. Okay. Whoa! That's creepy, I killed you. Drang hammers. Now, I have my suspicions about this drang armor. Oh, I was wrong. I thought this was the drang lake set in Dark Souls 2, but it's actually not. It actually is different. Of course, my Herald armor protects me better. And it just doesn't necessarily look cool. This armor does look pretty freaking sweet. But I do like the look of my Herald armor. Okay. So what do I have up oh uh trap ahead he is the freaking trap oh there's sleeping bad guys don't mind me i'm not bothering anyone just gonna come sit in the back row. Don't mind me. Ember? I hope I don't have to go that way. I don't want to have to deal with that guy. That's right, keep going. I saw a doorway over here. I want to get to it. I just don't want to aggro anyone. And I'm good. Oh! God dang it, you jerk. I just told these guys I was good. That I didn't need to worry about taking damage, and then you shoot me with a freaking fireball. As if specifically because I said that.
Okay. I know where this is. I'm not gonna go that way, but I know where this is. Okay, now I kind of see the point of this gate that I put up. I, oh, maybe not. Maybe I can't walk across it. I really don't understand the purpose of this. It's not an illusionary wall or anything. Now, how would I get this gate up? Because I can see that there is one and I need to walk across it. Dual charm? Huh. walk along this edge it looks like but th I don't think that leads anywhere and ah oh, <laughs> I was just gonna go over there hop on there and go across but that doesn't look like I'd be able to anyway how do I raise this one where's the liver I never saw one dang it I have the horrible feeling that I'm going to have to go that way. Deal with all those bad guys. But the guy I'm most worried about is that dude with the huge sword. Ah. <sighs> I doubt I could snipe him from here. <laughs> no, that didn't do any damage. Oh no. I pissed him off. Huh. Oh yeah, 29 damage. Stop moving. Just let me shoot you. Should I? Oh. Gotcha. Okay. I guess I don't need to worry about this guy. Pretty easy way to kill him. This is just gonna sit there now. Dang it! Moves a little too quick. I see you. I'm not gonna let you do anything to me because you're an idiot. Ooh, headshot. And I totally mess up the next shot, but. That was a lucky headshot. <laughs> Couldn't replicate it. I tried. I see you. Not hiding from me. Oh, yes. I totally messed up that next shot again. Oh. 
If you hadn't started sprinting, buddy, could have shot you in the face, maybe. Or at least the top of the head. And booyah! Okay, that was horrible. But just sit still, I'm okay with that. Oh, you jerk. Just a couple more arrows and he should be dead. They've really boosted the power of your bow in this game. I guess that kind of compensates for the lack of arrows that you get to carry. I was expecting him to sprint. Like he has been doing. Instead of suddenly changing up his tactics now. Ha! Please tell me he didn't drop anything. Ah, he dropped something. I'm gonna have to go down and get it. Still not going to be reckless about this. There are uh, still at least five enemies in here. That one looks particularly d dangerous. Keep sleeping. Not bothering you. I'll kill these other guys, but I don't want to mess with the big guy. Because I'm not going to be able to use a cheap tactic on this guy, it doesn't look like. I really don't want to fight him. He looks pretty dangerous. But I need to go get my goodies that the other guy dropped. Ugh. I made it. Cathedral Knight Greatsword. Let's take a look. Okay. It's an Ultra Greatsword. Okay. 26 strength, but I wouldn't use it anyway because it's an Ultra Greatsword. The Executioner's Greatsword is the one that I'm going to be using when I get the strength. Because it will restore my mana just for killing something. That mana is so, so important to me. Prevents me from having to use my Estus Flask. Now, I think it's probably a bad idea to attack them. I think if I kill them, he's probably going to get up. And I don't want to fight him. So I'm going to go this way. If this doesn't lead anywhere... Ah, oh, crap, it doesn't. Uh... <laughs> I'll try coming up here? Without fighting these guys? Let me read this message. Pointless. Oh. He didn't attack. He doesn't care. I'm just gonna let him keep sleeping. 
no reason not to. Why is there a fog gate? Is this going to be an actual boss? I could have sworn Dark Souls 3 kind of abandoned that. Abandoned the fog gate before every boss. But who knows? I'm not sure if this is a boss or not, so I am actually going to use an ember. And a ton of summon signs just showed up, so I assume it's a boss. Nixon. Hero. Camilla. Here we go. That's an NPC. I know that's going to work. Might as well see if this one will work. Ah. I can't change my covenant right now. Otherwise I would be engaging in jolly cooperation as well. Alright. Let's do this. Whoa! That is a lot of enemies. And they are not particularly squishy. I wish I had a helper. What? Dark spirit? I didn't summon a dark spirit. Man, I need a halberd. Very badly. Well, that's interesting. Seems to be that in order to hurt the boss, I have to kill the glowing one. Oh! He can cast force. I should have brought that. Although, I guess I didn't know I was going up against this. Like every time one dies, another one just comes right up out of the ground and takes its place. Ow, those fireballs. Where's, there's the glowing dude. Well, this is kind of a cool boss. It's also not very difficult by the looks of it. Unless this is going to change later on. I have no idea. What? Let's launch it back up somewhere. Everything's dying too fast. Where's the one with the aura? That looks that looks tougher. Okay, that one doesn't have its own health bar. 
That one is the actual boss. Ow. dark magic. Not a particularly difficult boss. The concept was pretty cool. Hmm. Although this seems to be a dead end. Shouldn't this have led somewhere? At least there's a bonfire. Well, that is the end of this area, I guess. Since this video is only about the half hour mark, no reason I can't try to help other people. If you aren't interested in watching some jolly cooperation, then it's a good idea to just exit the video now, as that's all I'm going to be doing at this point. I'll do this for a while, try to pick up some sunlight medals, and then I'll just go level up. So from this point of the video, I'm probably not going to do any talking until I go to level up again. So I'm just going to mute my mic. And we'll be... And I'm good to go with this stuff. If you're leaving now, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.
Dang it, Jeff, I'm trying to heal you. You're making me waste my mana. Well, I can easily get it back. You just won't let me heal you, will you? running away from my healing. I've never co-opted someone who did not want to be healed. up dying <sighs> all right come on don't do this to me don't do this Okay. Prepare my gear. I think instead of heal aid for this, I'm gonna want force. To knock them all on the ground. Let's hope I get a host that will actually do what I want and let me heal him or her. That is so cool. I really should have tried that out. Oh well, how does this thing scale again? C and D. I may have to improve this somehow. Give it the refined, maybe. That would give it better scaling. Maybe since the strength scaling is total crap, I could try giving it heavy. If I have a... I do have a heavy gem. Heavy reduces your dexterity scaling, but increases your strength scaling. And it's the exact opposite for sharp. Boosts dexterity at the cost of strength. It all, it seems like it depends upon finding a weapon that has crap scaling, 
in one of those areas. And just switch it into one that doesn't suck. Alright, James. Let's see if you're smart. Enough to let me heal you when you need it. Let's do this. This big guy just hates me with a passion. No. No, come on, are you kidding me? Try to knock him on the ground. That one just had it out for me. I'm man. That's horrible. I'm usually a much better sunbro than this. Let's see what I can do for rings here. Yeah, I could boost my health, gain more souls. I don't particularly, th I don't think I really am gonna need my Estus ring. I didn't take much damage when I was doing it by myself. Well, not by myself, but in my world, I didn't take much damage. Place my sign over here instead, see if that'll give me more support. But force seems to be a pretty good miracle for this. It's knocking them all down. I am going to need to improve the strength of this weapon. I don't know why it's saying that I'm losing damage. When I two-handed, I have the strength. But, who knows. I'll just try it with this. Get my bow equipped again. I'll give this one more co-op before I'll cut the video. That is if I'll get summoned. Come on. In that video that I mentioned I watched about, you know, some of the hidden mechanics, you can see that I'm on my fire bombs, and I'm nowhere near my S's. If I hold down the button that lets me switch my items down there, it'll automatically push you to the one at the beginning. See, even if I go with the Estus, it'll, you know, the Ash Estus puts me right back. So, even if I had something in every single one of these spots, you know... It wouldn't matter. I could just go right back. Which is nice. Because in the middle of a fight, you don't want to have to scroll through your entire list to get your Estus. You just want to be able to, boom, be right back and have a chug of your sunny D to save your life. I'm not getting summoned at all. 
Come on, people. I am a freaking sun bro. You should be prioritizing me over the top of all those white summons. Come on, people. My sign is right here. Right there. <laughs> Not gonna give this too much longer before I just go back to Firelink. Do some leveling. And then cut the video. How many sunlight medals do I have? Four. I'd like more. Come on. Summon me. So I can do really cool stuff like this. Or my charge attack. Or just a charged power attack. And then gain back all of my mana through backstabs. Okay, it's been a few minutes. And I'm not gonna wait that long just to be summoned. So it's back to Firelink. And then I think I'll be able to head into Farron Keep. Well, back to Farron Keep. doing up here I've been noticing that he moves around sometimes what okay oh and we know oh. again this is Henry he spoke before on the road of sacrifices Henry the restorer I'm well pleased to see you safe we reached the cathedral of the deep but Aldridge's coffin was empty the man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithil, in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irithil, in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond, and so become. Okay, so he doesn't seem to have anything new to say. But, our crestfallen friend seems to have moved. There's someone up there. I'm gonna go talk to him. Or her. Hello. Hasn't it been some time? I'm Leonard. Been some time. Remember me? I slipped no. through those red eyes some time ago. Oh. You're making quite a oh, lot of it, right. so you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. 
I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> I would play this game how I normally play it. That's what I would do. And he's got nothing new to say. So yeah, he did give me five cracked red eye orbs before, but... I hate invading. When I do, and then when I pull it off, I always feel like a scumbag. Because that's essentially what you are. Just scum of the earth who can't just let people go through their game the way they want to. Oh, how many? You can give me some arrows. I mean, you might disagree with me. If you like PvP, you probably do disagree with me. But that's okay. That's the cool thing about opinions. You can't be wrong. Okay. Ah, is good to what need? Reinforcement is what needs to be done. Oh, I need more Titanite. I could buy some. See, how good would it be if I set this thing? Oh, where is it? What? I can't infuse it. Oh. That's disturbing. Well, it's not disturbing, but it's unfortunate. Well, that sucks. I could still improve it, though. I need five more Titanite, and she sells some. Just 4,000 souls. No big deal. Not for something that will improve the power of a weapon that I plan on using. Reinforce this. Make it... Great. <laughs> oh. I can prove one of three weapons. Either my mace, which I have infused with heavy, since I had really crap scaling anyway in dexterity. And it actually completely removed my dexterity scaling, because my dexterity scaling was at an E. That's the lowest it gets. And it boosted an entire letter on my strength scaling. As you can see, I'm a, I'd be hitting an A, just for getting it up to plus 4. Out of 10. Imagine once it's at 10, it's going to have S scaling, which is awesome. My sword, I'm probably going to end up going with refined. Let's see what that would do. If I were to infuse my longsword with refined, my strength scaling would increase, although it doesn't look like it would be by a whole lot. My dexterity scaling would go up to C. Although my dexterity isn't actually as good, it might actually net me better result if I... no? Well, yeah. I'd get a better result if I just went with heavy. My attack would only go down by 7 before the scaling. And my scaling would go up by 17. Whereas with this, my attack would go down by 15 and only go have my scaling go up by 18. I'd be gaining 3 points of damage here and 10 points of damage with heavy. Yeah. It would definitely be better to go with heavy.
which re would remove my dexterity scaling <laughs> and increase my strength. I don't know. Thing is, I have plans to use this for a while because it'll restore my magic. And it looks like it'll do some pretty hefty damage. Man, if I had one more Twinkling Titanite. Uh. Okay. Time to go level up and then cut the video. Welcome Actually, no. I need to go find the crestfallen dude. I'll have enough for one more level. Could do attunement. I haven't boosted my health in a while. Carrying load. Might not be a terrible idea. But I also need stamina. This weapon takes up a lot. Yeah, may the flames guide me. Now that's the thrones, which means I want to go this way. I've only seen him in one. Of I, God dang it, why? I've only seen him in one other place. If he's not sitting there. Come on, let me out. Now is oh, not down there. That's death. Down by the dog. Yep, that's where he is. Of course, the dog is not here when he is here, but the poor wretched souls, be they lord or legend, the curse shows no mercy. What a sham! He's got the worst case of depression I've ever seen in a game. But that looks a lot. Oh, maybe not. For a while it looked like it was Artorius' sword, but it doesn't quite look right. The poor be the and that's all he's saying. Okay. I do like this character. Even though he's a total downer. But, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I don't think there's anything up here. I suppose I could check for a seed of a giant tree, but I don't think it's happening. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh! I got one. Which, of course, means that we need to come up here. Because I'm not going to use this when I get for when I get invaded. Not this particular one. This one needs to go to the crows. It's very important that you give this to the crows. There we go, the last set of Solar, last piece of Solar's armor. To get his armor, you have to give the Zeke Brow you get from Zeke Ward after killing the Demon Fire Sage. You have to give a Lightning Urn, a Homeward Bone, and a Seed of a Giant Tree. I'm going to see if I can leave one of these and get something. Nope. Uh, it was worth a shot. I don't recall how to get the shield. I know I looked it up at one point. Only because I want the armor. I mean, it's so lair. You, it's gotta be done. Solaire's armor is in this game. 
There's no reason not to use it. I've got all of it except for the shield. But as always, thanks for watching. I'm and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.